The Richmond community coming together now to improve safety at an intersection where a 22-year-old VCU student was hit by a car and killed while crossing the street earlier this year. Caroline Colburn joins us live sharing one resident's push for safety improvements and how local and national experts are weighing in today. Good morning, Caroline. Good morning, Rob and Reba. Sharon Shaw says she was heartbroken when she heard about the death of 22-year-old Marot Khan here at this intersection. But she notes this isn't the only deadly crash we've seen here in our area involving a pedestrian so far this year. If you check the headlines every day, at least once a week, somebody's been hit and killed in the region somewhere. After the crash at Laurel and Maine in January, Shaw submitted this intersection for one of the National Advocacy Group Strong Town's crash studio analyses. It's a study of the environment at the location of a deadly crash, and a goal is to determine whether or not the roadway design created an unsafe travel environment. Both Shaw and Richmonder Christian Chick completed a speed study at this intersection, and they believe the speed limit needs to be lowered because the area is pedestrian heavy and has a dorm right across the street. During today's panel at 12:15, a technical expert as well as someone from Bike Walk RVA and Safe Routes to School will meet with community members to discuss solutions to make this area safer. But Shaw and Chick also want drivers to remember they need to share the roadway. We tend to assume that the pedestrian has the last line of common sense defense, that uh, the pedestrian should assume the streets are unsafe and be cautious at all times. However, in this sort of area, I believe that there's an extra responsibility on the drivers. They should assume at all times that there might be pedestrians out because this is a, is a very pedestrian heavy zone. Now Shaw and Chick also met with an architect and they believe there's another solution to making this intersection safer. They say if there was a concrete barrier right here, it would make this curve right here a 90 degree angle, which would make it more difficult for vehicles to speed as they're making a right turn. It would also reduce the amount of time that pedestrians are actually here in the crosswalk. So Rob Reba, a community solution potentially to help improve this intersection. We hope so. All right. Thanks, Caroline, reporting live.